Welcome again to yet another class and session on what we are learning through this whole course which has reached you thanks to UGC. E Parchala, as we have been learning through other forms the history of Kathak. So when we think of Kathak as a form, we think of so many gurus, so many artists, so many teachers. I am sure many of you know some famous names, some famous cities associated with this form and today I will take you on a journey of yet other aspect of some of the principal teachers and artists associated with this form. Okay, you are with me? Shall we start? Okay. Before independence, various courts and kings supported Kathak. The art of Kathavachaks or Kathakars who were akin to wandering minstrels had outgrown the temple related environment as sole patron and under influence of Muslim courts and conquests from central Persia they had come in contact with stylized Mughal courts and thus metamorphosized into fine art form. This fusion led to establishment of schools and many gurus helped reach out and foster this art form. Kathak also caught the imagination of visiting foreign artists like the American pioneer Ted Sean and Ruth St. Dennis and La Mary. They created small items and performed these making the form known and popular abroad. Thus first generation of Indian dancer exposed to West like Ram Gopal or Uday Shankar and Madam Menka and Sadhana Bose had already taken Kathak in a big way. So they had established it in Bombay, Calcutta. Ram Gopal opened a studio in Bangalore. Uday Shankar had also liked and learned the style and his partner Zora Segal of Rampol nobility had also learned Achan Maharaj and migrated and demise of the Kathak also helped spread Kathak patronage. Thus slowly Kathak caught the imagination of classes and masses. Films slowly also started using Kathak and the first color film Mughal -e Azam was based on story of Kathak type popular notch dancer called Anarkali. Many films of V. Shantaram also partook of Kathak and his wife Sandhya had been exposed to the style in Gujarat where the Gangani brothers came and settled at MS University. So many linkages took place. Kathak has seen steady growth as an art form and has been blessed with many proponents. In each region of North, Central, West and East India, Kathak has had many followers and exponents. Starting with courts of Lucknow, Jaipur, Banaras and Raigarh and then in cities like Delhi, Baroda, Bombay, Pune, Kolkata, Bangalore and even Madras, the citadel of southern forms. Kathak has seen an ever-growing number of artists and performers. Let us take an overview of historical reasons why. Kolkata being the first capital under British India had the advantage of much interaction and commerce that helped arts. Thus Uday Shankar and many of his artists hailing from Bengal did yeoman service to the form and soon many leading dancers like Sadhana Bose, Komalata and Amla appeared on the scene and embellished the form and made it popular. In Bombay, many dancers and gurus settled as it was a modern city and attracted lot of talents. Madam Menka school at Khandala, then on outskirts of Bombay, trained many girls in Kathak and prime star trained was Damenti Joshi. Sitara Devi made Bombay her home having been born in Banaras and brought that tradition. Roshan Kumari came from Ambala near Punjab and did much to popularize Kathak also featured in Satyajit Sre Jalsaghar, Pandit Hazari Lal from Punjab Gharana married Sunaina and settled in Bombay and taught many. In Delhi, most gurus came from Jaipur and Lucknow and trained first generation of dancers who had come there from far and wide like Mayara from Bangalore, 
Modini Lakia from Gujarat, Krishna Kumar from Punjab, Delhi became the capital of free India, thus all government patronage was vested there and many institutions came up, especially Bharatikala Kendra, then Kathak Kendra. So Kathak was established in this refugee city in a big way post-independence. Let us list some key artists, performers, region-wise, post-1940s onwards who have contributed significantly from 1940 to 2000. Delhi, Guru Achar Maharaj, 1893 to 1946, the eldest son of Kalka Prasad was a virtuous and godly man. His original name was Jagannath Prasad, but being good-natured earned him the nickname Ache Bhaiya, which became Achan. He was trained by his father and uncle Bindadin. He served for a long time as court dancer at Rampur, Raigad, some other states of North India and returned to his beloved Lucknow. Years later, when Kathak had fallen into disrepute, Achan Maharaj was brought to Delhi by Kapila Vatsyan and Nirmala Joshi. He started teaching and with his 10-year-old son Birju charmed the connoisseurs of Delhi. Both Bindadin and Achan Maharaj were gifted with a phenomenal capacity to evoke and project emotion and feelings in both dancing and singing. Guru Shambhu Maharaj, 1904 to 1970, was the youngest of the three famous sons of Kalka Prasad. He learned Kathak from his uncle Bindadin and his eldest brother Achan Maharaj. As he had passion for music, he learned Tumari and Khayal from Mustad Rahimuddin. At the invitation of Nirmala Joshi, the founding secretary of Sangeet Narak Academy, he moved to Delhi in 1955, where he taught Kathak at the fledgling Bharatikala Kendra set up by Sumitra Charatram. He was an able teacher and trained many gifted dancers like Maya Rao, her sister Chitra Venu Gopal, Bela Arnab and Kumudini Lakhya. Guru Sundar Prasad 1891-1970 Trained under his father Chunni Lal and the finer intricacies of the art form from Maharaj of Bindadin of Lucknow. In the 1930s, he started Bindadin School of Kathak in Bombay and spent 20 years there training disciples like Mohan Rao Kalyan Porkar, Puvaya Sisters, Shireen Vajivdar, Menka, Sohan Lal, Hira Lal, Roshan Kumari. In 1958, he joined Sri Ram Bharatikala Kendra at Delhi and trained several dancers like Maya Rao, Uma Sharma, Urmila Nagar, Durga Lal, Kumudni Lakhya and Shobhna Narayan. Guru Narayan Prasad 1910 to 1958 was the youngest son of Hanuman Prasad of Jaipur. From the age of eight, he started training under his father and uncle Hari Prasad and became a talented child artist. He had equal command over Laya and Bhava and was at ease presenting Layakaris in difficult talas. Among the dancers of the Jaipur school, he was a master of Shringar Rasa. He played the tabla and pakhavaj and was an excellent singer. A devotee of Krishna, he composed many kavits and tumris based on Krishna Leela. He trained many dancers. Beju Maharaj was initially trained by his father Achan Maharaj and later by his uncle Shambhu Maharaj. He taught for many years at Bharatikala Kendra Delhi and was head of faculty and rector of Kathak Kendra. Beju Maharaj uplifted Kathak to great heights with his Kathak dance dramas. As a creative choreographer, he has given Kathak dance a new dimension through his fascinating group compositions. He retired in 1998, after which he opened his own dance school, Kala Ashram in Delhi. He is a versatile artist, a vocalist, percussionist, music composer, poet and a painter. In short, a complete artist. Uma Sharma learned dancing from two renowned masters, Shambhu Maharaj, Lucknow and Sundar Prasad, Jaipur. She widened the repertoire of Kathak by composing new dance numbers and full-length dance dramas on a variety of themes, dance to poetry, including contemporaries, ones like Fez, Neeraj, Bajpai. She explored the Ras tradition of Braj and included it in her repertoire. Her institution, Bharati Sangeet Sadhan, has trained many able students. Urmila Nagar was born into a family of musicians and is an outstanding dancer and reputed vocalist. She received training in Jaipur Ghrana from Kundalal Gangani and advanced training from Pandit Sundar Prasad. She developed a unique style of her own representing Babinaya while singing Tumri, Bhajans etc. herself on the stage. She is hailed as a dancer with singing Ghungurus. 
it was she who visualized Kathak dance without tabla support, but without sacrificing its inherent charm. She also adopted the folk music of Rajasthan for Kathak. Bharati Gupta trained in Lucknow Grana under Shambhu Maharaj. Her partnership with Beju Maharaj resulted in memorable dance dramas like Kumar Sambhav, Shane Avad, and Krishnayan. She had a long association with Sriram Bharati Lakendra, a student, professional dancer, and teacher. Shovna Narayan was initiated into Kathak at a young age by Sadhana Bose in Kolkata, then Kundalal Gangani of Jaipur Gharana in Mumbai, and Birju Maharaj of Lucknow Gharana in Delhi. Her style is an amalgamation of Jaipur and Lucknow Gharanas. She works on social issues, philosophical themes, and with internationally known Western dancers and musicians. Shovna runs the Asavari Institute of Kathak in Delhi. Saswati Sen had her initial training at Delhi's Kathak Kendra under Reva Vidyarthi. With the National Scholarship in Performing Arts, she became the prime disciple of Pandit Beju Maharaj. She incorporates into her presentation both the lyrical grace and rhythmic virtuosity of Kathak. But her forte is Abhinaya. She has trained a large number of students, many from overseas. Saswati is the driving force behind Kala Ashram. Pandit Beju Maharaj's dream institution and is its secretary. She has choreographed several group compositions as well as dance dramas. Aditi Mangaldas is the principal dancer of the Aditi Mangaldas Dance Company, the Drishtikon Dance Foundation. With extensive training under the leading gurus of Kathak, Kumudini Lakhya and Pandit Beju Maharaj, Aditi works with the traditional repertoire of Kathak and fuses it with modern sensibilities. Aditi is today recognized for her artistry, technique, eloquence, and characteristic energy that mark every performance. She has attempted to break new ground by using her knowledge and experience of Kathak as a springboard to evolve a contemporary dance vocabulary, infused with the spirit of the classical. She has choreographed a number of group ensembles that are both traditional and contemporary in nature. In Jaipur Gharana, we had Devi Lal, 1942 to 1976, who came from a family of musicians in Rajasthan and had his initial lessons under his father, Pandit Omkar Lal. He studied Kathak under Pandit Sundar Prasad, Shambhu Maharaj and Beju Maharaj. He toured extensively as a dancer and instrumentalist. His untimely death robbed the world of a promising and accomplished Kathak artist. Gitanjali Lal hails from a family of doctors but chose Kathak over medicine. She was trained by Roshan Kumari, Gopi Krishna, Mohan Rao Kalyan Purkar, and her husband Devi Lal. She also is a gifted musician trained by her father Rajnikan Desai of Agra Gharana from childhood. For her group choreographic work, she has herself scored the music. She has held several important positions including senior guru, chief of repertory, and director of the National Institute of Kathak in the Delhi. She is the director of Devi Durga Kathak Sansthan, New Delhi. Durga Lal, 1948-1990, was initiated into the art by his father, Omkar Lal. He learned Jaipur Grana Kathak from his brother, Devi Lal and Pandit Sundar Prasad. He learned Pakhavaj from Pandit Purshottam Das. He had long association with Sriram Bharati Kendra as a student and artist. He later taught at Kathak Kendra and trained students like Uma Dogra, Nandani Singh, Harish Rawat, Sharmishta, Pranam Mukherjee, Smriti Mishra, Rakhi Dheer, Jayant Kastur. Guru Kundalal Gangani, 1926-1984, belongs to a traditional family of Kathakars. With brother Sundalal, he spent initial professional years in Meerut, then Baroda, and moved to Delhi on invitation of Mohan Kokar, who was then director of Kathak Kendra. He learned from his uncle, Narayan Prasad. He taught at Sri Ram Bhartikala Kendra and later Kathak Kendra. His prominent disciples are Urmila Nagar, Vishnu Priya Pawar, Shovna Narayan, Ashish Kokar, Prerna Srimali, Urmila Goyal, and his son Rajendra Gangani, who continues his art after him. Baroda Pandit Sundalal Gangani, 1929-2013, left his native Sujangarh village in Churu district, Bikaner, to teach at the Maharaja Sahaja Rao University Dance Department under Mohan Kokar and stayed on till his retirement. He was an accomplished poet, tabla player, excellent composer and created many compositions in honor of Ram and Hanuman. He trained scores of Kathak dancers in Baroda, USA, Anjani Ambagaonkar, Dharm Sisi Shah, sons Harish and Jagdish Gangani are some of his serious disciples. Harish Gangani and Jagdish Gangani trained under their father Sundalal Gangani and uncle Madanlal Gangani 
are carrying on family legacy at the Department of Dance, Faculty of Performing Arts at MSU Baroda. Jagdish runs his institution, Kathak Darshan Charitable Trust in Baroda. Ahmedabad. Kumudni Lakhya trained under Shambhu Maharaj. She began her career dancing with Ram Gopal as he toured with West, then became a dancer and choreographer in her own right, based in Bombay. A minimal approach to costumes, lighting and set design has given her work a sophisticated elegance. It was her passion to give a scientific meaning to the Kathak movements. She founded the Kadam School of Dance and Music in Ahmedabad in 1967 and has done more than 70 successful productions all over the world. Daksha Seth, Aditi Mangaldas, Maulikshya, Ishira Parik, Vaishali and Prashant Shah are her disciples. Bombay, Madam Menka, 1899-1947. A personable young Indian lady in London, Leela Sohe, met Pavlova and complained that though she had been very keen on learning dance in India, she could not make any headway. Pavlova immediately assigned Algernoff to teach Leela Sokhi, who was none other than Madame Menka, a name she assumed when she returned to India and took to dance full-time and created a school in Bombay, Khandala. She adopted Damanti Joshi and groomed her. Sitara Devi, 1920-2014, trained under her father Sukhdev Maharaj Benaras Gharana and Lucknow Gharana and combined both elements, Rabindranath Tagore described her as Nitya Samaragini, meaning the Empress of Dance, after watching her performance when she was just 16 years old. She drew from the themes, poetry and choreography collected by her father in her choreographies and was inspired from the environment around her. Sitara Devi also acted in a few films. Damenti Joshi, 1928 to 2004. Initially trained by Pandit Sitaram Prasad of the Jaipur Gharana, she was chosen protege of Madame Menka, who adopted her as a daughter when she was just four. Damenti toured with Benka's troupe in India and abroad. She trained with all the three brothers, Achan Maharaj, Lachu Maharaj, Shambhu Maharaj of the Lucknow Gharana. Imbibing both from traditions, she was a successful solo artist. She was the first person to introduce sari in costume Kathak dance. She taught Kathak at the Indra Kala Vishwa Vidyalay Khairagad and Kathak Kendra in Lucknow. Roshan Komari is an exponent of Jaipur Gharana. Her gurus were K.S. More, Pandit Sundar Prasad, Ghulam Hussain Khan of Patiala and Pandit Hussain Hanuman Prasad. She danced in film Varis 1954. Basant Bahar 1957 and Jalsaghar Satyajit Ray. She runs Nitya Kala Kendra in Bombay from 1971. Sunaina Hazari Lal trained under Hazari Lal, an exponent of Banaras Janaki Prasad Gharana, and later married him. She is the director of Natavari Dance Academy. She also heads the Kathak section of Sangeet and Nartan Shiksha Peet of Bharti Vidya Bhavan in Mumbai. Pune. Mohan Rao Kalyan Purkar, 1913-1985, learned Jaipur Gharana Kathak from Sundar Prasad. From 1934-1937, he was with Bindadin School of Kathak in Mumbai. In Lucknow, he served at Bhatkande Sangeet Vidya Peet till 1971, becoming the head of its dance department. He also learned Kathak from Achan and Shambhu Maharaj and became proficient in both the Gharanas. After retiring, he taught Kathak at NCPA, Mumbai. He prepared a syllabus for training in both theory and practice of Kathak. His best known disciples are Rohini Bhatte, Raja Kelkar and Padma Kumari Sharma. Hyderabad, Mangala Bhatt received her training in the Jaipur Gharana under Pandit Durgalal and Kundalal Gangani at Kathak Kendra, New Delhi. Raghav Bhatt trained initially under his father, Dr. Gopal Raj Bhatt, and then learned Kathak from Pandit Beju Maharaj at the Kathak Kendra, Delhi. They jointly founded Akriti Kathak Kendra in Hyderabad. Kolkata. Uday Shankar, 1900-1977, had no clue about dance, Indian or Western, when he started out. He did a bit of Kathakali and a bit of Kathak, bit of Bharatanatyam merged with Mohini Atam. From that, he created an entirely new form called Indian Ballet or Modern Dance. The movements were Indian, the themes were Indian, the music was Indian and the dancers and dancers were Indian. Many were inspired by him, many cloned him, but he remained an original. Sadhana Bose, 1914-1973 was a contemporary of Uday Shankar. A classically claimed dancer, Kathak under 
Tarakanath Bagchi and Maripuri under Guru Senarik Rajkumar. Sadhana was an actress but dancer in the first place and all her film successes were in dancing roles. An English version of her best known film Raj Nartaki was distributed in the USA as the court dancer. She taught many students including Shovna Narayan in initial stages. Rani Karna was born in Hyderabad, Sindh now in Pakistan and nurtured under Gurus Narayan Prasad, Sundar Prasad and Birju Maharaj. She has integrated the traditions of Jaipur and Lakhnau Ghrana aesthetically. Her work on the aesthetics of Kathak with Dr. S.K. Saxena of Delhi University is well recognized. She was the founder and head of the dance department of Calcutta School of Music 1978-93. Ahana, the music and dance wing of Aurobindo Bhavan, Calcutta, 1980-87. She imparts training at her own dance academy, Samskriti Shreyaskar. Chetana Jalan received her formal training in Kathak from renowned gurus of the Lucknow Gharana, Pandit Ram Narayan Mishra, Pandit Beju Maharaj and Pandit Videsh Shankar. An innovative choreographer capable of fusing different styles, she is also a noted actress and managing trustee of the Padadik Dance Centre in Calcutta. Brojain Mukherjee is a disciple of Birju Maharaj, Sundar Prasad, Ram Gopal Mishra and Manjushri Banerjee. A gentle personality, he left an indelible mark on the Delhi Kathak scene by participating in many productions of Kathak Kendra and Bhartikala Kendra. He left Delhi to run a Kathak school in Burdwa, West Bengal. Again Lucknow, Arjun Mishra, disciple of Ram Ryan Mishra in Kolkata and then Pandit Beju Maharaj in Delhi is an exponent of Lucknow Kathak. It was only 1990s that Arjun Mishra went to Lucknow and established the Gharana in a big way through his Kathak Academy. He has been serving the dance form for five decades. He has trained his daughters Smriti and Kantika and his son Anuj is now a star dancer. Pune, Rohini Bhatte. Learned Kathak from Lachu Maharaj and Mohan Rao Kalyanpurkar of Lucknow and Jaipu Gharanas and Hindustani classical singing from Keshara of Bhole and Vasant Rao Deshpande. She founded the Nitya Bharati Kathak Dance Academy in Pune in 1947. She was instrumental in setting up syllabi for Kathak at the University of Pune's Lalit Kala Kendra. She has also served on advisory committees of Khairagad University and the Kathak Kendra. Shama Bhatte is the disciple of Rohini Bhatte and also trained under Birju Maharaj and Mohan Rao Kalyan Purkar. She has created her own idiom of Kathak dance, blending it with special inputs in Tal and Laya from Pandit Suresh Talwalkar. She is the director of Nad Roop, established in 1987 in Pune, Bangalore. Pandit Sohanlal, 1914 to 1965, was trained by Guru Jailal of Jaipur. His father studies under Guru Sundar Prasad and Devi Lal. Ram Gopal engaged Sohanlal to teach at his studio in Bangalore and helped spread Kathak in Bangalore by creating a school Vishwa Kalasthana in 1942. Among the, his prominent students were Maya Rao and her sisters Uma and Chitra. He travelled with Ram Gopal and his items Prabhat Nritya, Dream of Meera, Vayu, Village Experience and Chandra Rahu got much acclaim. Ram Gopal, 1912-2003, Chennai. Jigyasa Giri trained under Krishna Kumar Dharwad in Banaras, Gharana and later under Guru Maya Rao in Lucknow, Gharana. She established her school Devanya in November 2009 in Chennai and has around 200 students at present. She is doing yeoman service to the propagation of Kathak in the heart of Bharatanatyam land. Chandigarh M. L. Kosar 1928-2008 studied under Uday Shankar and Guru Nambudripad at Almora. Bharatanatyam in Tanjavar, Kathak at Lucknow and Manipuri under Guru Amubi Singh in Manipur. Kosar was also a journalist. He established the Prachin Kala Kendra in 1956 in Chandigarh. This institution is now the oldest established body of its kind in the country, having over 3,500 affiliated centres in India and abroad with more than 2 lakh students studying and preparing themselves for various grades of professional courses conducted by it every year. His wife, Kathak dancer Shobha Kosar, an exponent of Jaipur Grana of Kathak, learnt first from Kanaya Lal and then from Kundalal Gangani of Jaipur Gharana. <laughs> Thank you.